I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. No one can stop me. I'm the best ever. You are watching a master at work. Yo, it's Free Game Radio Podcast, man. It's your boy, Papa Don. And it's your girl, Tia G. Yo, man, we back again. We back again with the homie. Yeah. Cloud Cruiser, man. What's good with you, bro? What's good, man? I'm just chilling. appreciate y'all for having me out again. Oh, it's always. nice to catch up and see familiar faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's the drink. You know what I mean? You approve of it? Yeah, I do. I'm going to get another one, I mean, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, we could be drinking this all episode. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, let me know. I mean, hey, whenever y'all ready, I can fill it up. This is what we're going to do. We're going to set the vibes, man. We're going to chop it up. we celebrate. Yeah. A lot has happened. Yeah, a lot has happened, man. So, recently, if you're you know, a huge Art Basel fan, you were out there. You had your own Love project. It. Yeah. You know, so tell, uh, us, tell us about, tell us about, uh, basically, just... Tell us about Art Basel yeah, for you, you know, as a whole. Okay, for you. so that was mm -hmm. my second Art Basel. Mm -hmm. Way different from the first one. Because um, the first one was me being there and meeting other people, showcasing my stuff. This time, I did an exhibit for myself. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I wasn't planning people to come out or whatever, but yeah. it was still saying I have that platform and saying I had that on my resume. And especially during Art, art Basel, that's like a big yeah. cultural event mm -hmm. for art. And it's only two. One in Hong Kong and one in Miami. So, and um, the show was nice. Yeah. Um, I did get some people walking and stuff, but of course the main attraction was my mural. Yeah. I don't know how big it is. I still get asked, like, how big is it? I'd be like, I really don't know, bro. <laughs> but I know it took a minute. My um, brother, Cap, shot Casey, um, he hold it down for me. He was holding the mirror, oh, no, no, he was holding the ladder for me. Yeah. And I was using a straight. Angle like, like the straight ladder. Oh, no, man. like the one you had to like you had to basically like lean it on. Yeah, because we po there was so many stuff I was, I was supposed to get. I wanted to, um a lift, mm -hmm. go up and down with, but you know just finds and stuff and get whatever. So we just had to you know finesse it work yeah. wherever we can and stuff. That's another good best story. I'd be telling people like, yeah, I, I did it on a straight ladder. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a lift. That's <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah, and it's just scary because like the it's just like one angle you do it. So like literally the higher I am is like it's just. I have no support, so yeah, it's yeah. like I'm doing this the whole time. Yeah. And like I only fell one time, and it wasn't even like a high fall. It was like a low fall. Yeah. We were coming down, and it just dropped. Dang, that was only one fall. But it, was, <laughs> it was still. I loved doing that mural. It was it was real fun. Uh, this is my first one. I projected, mm -hmm. so projection is like I digitally draw it. Yeah. Then I have my my friend back um, my hometown in Robbins, Aaron. I send him while I do it, and he'll project it on like this transparency paper that yeah. goes on the projector, and he'll put it on it on the wall. I, I can like shine it on the wall or whatever. Mm -hmm. and I just go over what I did, and it's just me just like filling in like a color. Okay. Wheel. So just a fast process just to get it down. Yeah. And pack it, make it look real. As you see, it's like real, real yeah. on there, real good because I had it angled the way I wanted to when I first did it. And that that character was basically it's Gundam, right? No, no, that's Mega Man. My Gundam one man. was. Last year, last year, but um, I mean, I can really see the difference though. Mm -hmm. Like, I can see from my last year to this one, it's like, yeah, that's a lot of improvement. I yeah, think. yeah. So I mean, wow. So the art basel, so you was able to have your own exhibit. How was just the art basel experience for you? Like, cause I know I was watching your Instagram. I know you had like a little vlog, you had a little vlog going. Ah, uh, I met. I ran into Andre Eagle Dollar. Oh, that's. He dope. tried to be real, low key. Yeah. Cause like. It's hard to be real low key when you're that tall. Yeah. He was literally walking <laughs> around the corner of me and my group. We was walking. I seen these two girls and I seen the dude behind them. And he had a hood over his head. I'm saying, man, tall, so he gonna look. Yeah. I said, Iggy. <laughs> 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 and he, and he looked at me. And he had his phone. He was like this. He was like, he was like, what's up? And I was like, I said, I already want a picture. Yeah. But I wasn't trying to blow. I know how it is. You want to blow? You trying to do five yeah, yeah. And then when I said that, that's when everybody looked and he said, Andre. Yeah, I was like, oh damn, I miss it, man. Yeah. But he was walking away from the crowd okay. when he was already coming my way and stuff. And then it was just cool. Uh, me and my brother, we met Big Mesa. Okay. Oh, um, man, that's dope. That was cool. He was I real. Missing, he was real cool. Yeah. Like, he was cool than I thought he would be. Like, you thought he was going to be like, what? You thought he was going to be like a dick or some shit? It's just, you don't know who people with that stature who be knowing yeah, all these people yeah. like Kanye yeah. West and all of them. Like, yeah. you're thinking like, oh, he ain't gonna want to take a picture with me. But literally, you walked in and um, I 
first I was like, I, I was like, Ugh. but my brother was like, yo, can we take a pic? Yeah. And I was like, he was like, oh yeah, sure, come on, we go outside. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> we went out. and then like I just took the picture with him. It was like real cool. And he was like, yeah. And but it was like it was some mess. Like, I should have told him because I'm down on my luck is like my favorite song. Mm -hmm. Not by him, just in the song general. Yeah. Like, it's like one of my favorite songs. So I didn't tell him that. I'm like, ah, oh, dang. But he was real cool. And then I met Blue the Great. Okay. One of my um, favorite artists. Uh, he was DJing mm -hmm. and stuff. And he saw my my blues. So that was real cool. Yeah. One of my prize possessions. I don't really. Taking my dance like that. <laughs> I mean, I wear them, of course. But yeah. when I started wearing them, I was like, yeah, I can't, I can't wear these. Like, yeah, it's just some, some, some things you just can't bring out the house, man. Yeah. And I don't even really get Jordans like that. Mm -hmm. It was just like a real, a lot of people don't know that was like a real cool moment for an artist to have his own Jordan release. Yeah. And as an artist, I've been following since like 2015. Mm -hmm. That's not cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not in the way, I'm not in the way Nike is doing with Virgil, Off White, yeah. yeah. Jordan's even with Travis Scott doing that, even with the Dior, uh, your release uh, collab like that right there. I'm like, all right. I'm liking how they're really allowing these artists or whoever to express their creativity. You know what I'm saying? Put it in a shoot. It's another creative Nike brand I've been following up. Mm -hmm. They let these artists make their own shoes. Yeah. With Nike and stuff. I, I submitted some stuff. I know they're doing like a Paris release, but hopefully they do a U.S. release. Yeah. And they let because like last year they did like 30 people. Okay. Right. All over the U.S. So hopefully you know this shit though. I said some missed us. Hopefully you know we cool because they let you do your own colorway and stuff with these Nikes, and they let you have like a um a little release at mm -hmm. a Nike store at any close Nike store in the area you want to be. So Damn. if I get that, that'd be cool. Damn, that's dope. That's pretty dope. You gonna sweep that until you yeah. miss it? Yeah. You, you, you ever try? <laughs> I mean, Loki. That's what I did last year though. I think with some stuff. We I can't remember exactly what we talked about, but I know yeah. I said like yeah, I said mm -hmm. it in the interview. Yeah, because you had some shoes displayed here. You know what I'm saying? You had some oh, shoes. Oh yeah, that did have those shoes. You know what I'm saying? Did, man. The oh, signature man. clouds, man. Like and that that's one thing I you know, we always talk about anyway, but that's one thing I do like about your art. Um, because I can look at your art and say, Alright, I know who that is. You know what I'm saying? It's like some art some artists out there you don't know because their style is like kinda like everybody's, but then you can kinda pinpoint, all right, that's him or that's her, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you with the signature cloud, like how you Incorporate that, you know what I'm saying, within your designs and your art is like Amazing. pretty dope. And it's freehand. I watch, you know, I watched you do. Nah, yeah. Like, like I watched I said, you do the one last year. The one in Miami was my first projecting one, just because yeah. of where I was gonna be at in the scene. I wanted to make it look good, but like yeah. most of my stuff is freehand. Yeah. I don't really, like it just might look at me on my phone, look at a reference, and I just go ahead and do it. So, t so, t so, so let's talk about that. Um, just doing it freehand, like. Cause you know it could be like mistakes here or whatever, but it's like raw, it's uncut. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So explain, explain could, that whole process. I could mess it in a way. If it's a lot of mistake, I have to. As the artist, I learned like you'll know when you mess up. But sometimes yeah. people look at it and be like, "Oh, it's supposed to be there." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's like kind of when my class I came in. Yeah. Cause like again, I used to do stuff, and a portion of this body looked bit more bigger than the other ones. So I was like, okay, well, I just started my class to like put over that part yeah. and they'll be like, oh, that's supposed to be part of it. Me and just like, nah, I messed up. Mm -hmm. So I just did that. <laughs> and, it's, and, it, and like, yeah, and with freehand, I mean, it's just, I mean, you mess up, I mess up. I, like, so I learned ways to finesse it to make it look more close to what I was representing. Mm -hmm. But now I'm on this part where I'm trying to really be using my mind more yeah. than just finding inspiration. Yeah. I want to use more of my mind of like make something that I thought about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and stuff. That's, that's pretty dope, man. Yeah, that's pretty dope. dope. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, cause so we know, uh, of course, like the first interview that we had, you know, and it's like basically like a recap of what you what you've done from yeah. then and now, and you've done a lot, like yeah. huge yeah. murals, a lot of them freehanded. You know what I'm saying? I guess the only way you could say was projected was that, the one in art, man. And you had your own ex exposition. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, exposition. <laughs> Exhibit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the drinks getting to me, but yeah, you had your own ex uh, exhibit there, and it's just like, damn, bro. Like, and the first year we did, you were there, you were just out there, based like networking. Did you know networking, yeah. I still did a mural, but yeah. again, it was not like my own wall. Yeah, it was just like you had your own place, your own wall yeah. at Art Basel. <sighs> Fucking dope, bro. Yeah, I guess. Dope, a lot of shit changed in one year, man. Yeah, I know. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, drink it to me not to. Anyway. <laughs> you, have some, you want some more? Yeah, please. Yeah. We met you in February 2019, right? Yeah. We did our first episode interview with you in March, like late March. So from then until now, bro, you've done a lot of shit, bro. Yeah. Like, you've, like, 
Yeah. I'm thinking about it. even when I first met you, like that show right there was dope as hell. Yeah. Like you had an entire showcase, the entire building, wall to wall, corner to corner, had your art on there. You were actually doing custom art there, you know what I'm saying, during the show. And it was like you had the music showcase, and then now, boom, you did Art Basel, you know what I'm saying? You did another showcase where that, that was in Greenville. Yeah, 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 Greenville, yeah. So you did another one recently in Greenville, and it's just like, bro, like, you've done so much shit. How do you keep that energy going? How do you keep the ideas flowing? Uh, a lot of weed, or? No, no, it's just piece, that's the thing still. I remember trying to laugh. I don't get inspired off of weed. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just I make it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can. I mean, yeah. like, so I did the, the Mega Mouth was hot. Yeah. yeah. Just like last year. Our battles was like, no, it was. I was gonna say, I think yeah. everybody tells nah, us that one. It was time. weed, my sister and everybody still like that. It was, but now I just, I don't know, I mean, just try to create. And now I think I really see now I really do have a fan base regardless of the yeah. followers or the likes. I see people who actually look really like, yo, like they're looking at me. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes yeah, me want to do. Like, I want to make some new stuff or whatever. And then even creating, like, I just want to get inspired. Like, now, like, even with my photography, like, I've always been taking mm -hmm. pictures. But it's like now it's like okay, I want to really like you know, show y'all can do it. You you gotta you gotta show me wow. what you you gotta show me how you do that thing. My stories, yeah, bro. How do you do it? I want to show my day, story. I don't you mind know. telling y'all. That's cool. It's just how you, like a thing that's gonna lead to the. It's okay to be inspired. Yeah, yeah. But when you copy somebody, it's different. Oh, yeah, and so I'll shout that's, you out. That's, oh, a, that's an inspiration thing. Like yeah. you're inspired, so yeah. hey, yeah. But you're not like oh, you're trying to copy exactly what yeah. I'm trying to do. I think it's disrespectful too, just like blatantly copying somebody. Like, yeah. I mean, where's your like, own guess, creative uh, juices at? I mean, what do they say? The highest form of flattery is imitation. Or something okay, like that. yeah, you know I mean? So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess I guess that's a like. I mean, you see, it. I mean, you see it every day. I mean, yeah. come on now, you got a lot of artists that sound like Future. You got a lot yeah. of artists. That, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I mean, yeah. So, that's very true. People gonna try to take what Cloud got, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. But that's dope though. I feel like if someone's copying your shit, that means like, all right, you doing something dope. You doing something dope. You know what I'm saying? You doing something hella dope. Like I said, my stuff is not 100% original. Yeah. Of course it's not. I'm gonna make that to everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been inspired. Yeah. Like, I just got inspired a little bit. And that's what our, all art is. Yeah. Like, it's inspiration. Nobody yeah. can literally say what they did is 100% they idea. Yeah. That's they have to find a reference. Yeah. Something. To do it. Something so inspired them. Something. Yeah. They in, this, in this day and age, it's yeah. probably like in this. 60, 50s, maybe, yeah, yeah. but now it's like everything's recycled. Mm -hmm. And like, like I said, even with music and with flows and stuff, yeah. they inspired. But I say you can get inspired if you actually 100% copying. Copy. That's like you can tell when somebody yeah. inspired and copying. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, how does that feel? Like for me, I get mad. I get like, damn, like, <laughs> where your own creative juices? But my friend, but I saying like a lot of people have been telling me like, yo, they still copying. That means you actually doing something. That, I mean, it, in a way, it's like, dang, I'm humble enough that you think I'm that good when you're copy me, but still, it's like a respect thing. It like, is. Because you're not going to get nowhere for Okay, let's do this example like a test. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can copy the answers on the test, but I don't mean you know the answers. Yeah. Right. Like, I can see what you're doing, I got the right answers, and yeah. I might pass, but. But when I you, really don't know shit. You don't really know. You go real world <laughs> situation, it's like, yeah. okay, cool, I see you know how to do that on Instagram, yeah. do it for me right now, and it's like, oh crap, I got it. Yeah. I gotta exactly. see. I gotta see what the last person did, so yeah. I know how to do it. Like, yeah, it's been copying. You've been copying. You've been yeah. copying. So, yeah, that's not the move, man. It's not. It's right. only gonna work for so long. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and now a lot of people call. I mean, a lot of these Instagram people finally. I mean, they've been called out, but a lot of these people behind the scenes, they finally people are finally starting to see like you ain't original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or even if you are one hundred percent original, but even if you're not at least, at least like thirty percent original, yeah. like you don't know what you're doing. And and you can tell now, like a lot of people are just getting lazy. You know what I mean? You can clearly tell, like, with anything, whether it's art, music, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I think, shout out to Instagram, man, because they'll call you out. Twitter, too. They'll yeah. call you the fuck out, man. I'm surprised they took away our life shit. Yeah. They I took mean, my shit away. They took your life away? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, and that's crazy that we brought that back up because we always said, like, we hate the whole concept. Of no, they took my shit away. But they took my shit this, away. This, so they didn't. So can you, like. But you can still see I, can see I didn't know they. No, no, no. See, no. They, they didn't explain that shit. Other people can't see it, but what they can do is, so say, it'll say like, your IG name and someone else liked it, right? You yeah. click on the IG name, whatever, and it'll show like a list. But that's dumb as hell. You, know you should have scrolled through somebody's whole list of her. Some people are doing it. Some people are fucking doing it. But that's, that's <laughs> they're not going to give you the actual number, but you can see a number. Yeah. Other people yeah. can't see the number. So but if they'll, they can scroll like, 
Oh <laughs> shit, I, you know what I mean? They yeah. just scroll through and see people like this. So I don't, the, that whole thing was just, they just didn't want to post the, the actual number for people to actually see it. You know what I'm I saying? mean, because you got to think about it. Some some people really like lived off that number. Like, oh my yeah, God, I didn't right. get but 150 likes it. on this but picture. But you still like, have it though. You still have the I mean, numbers. but the thing is, it's external val validation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's another thing we can talk about. You got to think about it. People don't care. Like, think about it. If I'm getting five likes and I'm only seeing that I'm not getting five likes, I don't care. But if the world is seeing that I'm only getting five likes, yeah, then it's a thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then it's a thing. Then, you then be. you're then you're seeking that external validation. Oh my God, I only got five likes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't look good in this picture. Let me delete it. And that's just that's just really like yeah. the real situation of like how people think when it comes to like it's yeah, not right, likes. You're right, you're right. Yeah, it is. I ain't gonna lie. I I still be like that sometimes. So. But I mean, I've learned how to just make it. It's like mm -hmm. whatever. I just know when to post. <laughs> Man, I, I, like, check my I try oh, to, I, I, try, I set my insights too, but now it's like, oh, this algorithm, I hate it. I, I really check my shit, man. I'm not gonna. Lie. Oh, okay. So between fucking three to six is a good time to post. So let me I mean, but see, if you're doing like business stuff yeah. or like promotional stuff, like it makes sense mm -hmm. to, to check your insights and stuff. Yeah. I mean, or just your following. But. Yeah. If I if, if it's like on my like my story, I don't give a fuck. I post whenever. But like, if I'm actually putting it on my timeline and it's like all right i'm really this, huge on that i'm planning mind. that shit. <laughs> I really, yeah i don't really like to post stuff on my timeline like if i post stuff I like on, the my, story. on my no, timeline no stories are free no stories yeah. that's why i started I'm, 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 i like I'm, stories I'm, i like stories because people can't put their judgmental fucking thoughts yeah. on your story like you gonna have to comment that shit. you gonna have to say what you said well, you, know yeah, you have to watch that shit or whatever it is. Yeah. Like, stories are starting to I, I seen this one thing where they actually starting to share stories on the explore page mm -hmm. like so that's like very true. that's true. why i mean I, I try to make my stories real you don't try to post no dumb stuff i just yo, try to post nice stuff that's hard show for me show me how to do that man i saw that the other day i'm like yo how is he doing this man but you, you can tell me after the show. No, I, no, I got you, I got you. I'll just charge everybody else. Yeah, yeah man. Nah. No more free game, I'm just kidding. Proceed for the cloud, man. Yeah, for you know sure. You know what I'm saying? But, so how, how has it been after Art Basel, man? Like, cause I, I think I think that's just, so like, what is Art Basel to an artist? That's, that's, that's the Grammys of art. That's the Grammys, mm. right? And here's the thing. So it's actually the event, Art Basel, mm -hmm. and it's the, I ain't gonna get in our basil, but I'm gonna go to a real event. Yeah. Everybody going to the I ain't in our basil, mm -hmm. but I'm going to the event. Yeah. So you got Wynwood and yeah. you got South Beach. Yeah. I think that's where the convention center for our basil is when mm -hmm. I went. Uh, yeah, it is. And then Wynwood is like everybody's trying to get their stuff seen. Yeah. So everybody's out in Wynwood. That's basil. the art district, right? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. art district. Like everybody's in Wynwood. But like if art had a Grammys, that would that would be it. That would be Oscars, it. Oscars, Grammy, Billboard Awards, type yeah. of that's that's it. Man. Yeah, because I've been like, you know, like, like uh, when we've been talking, like, even when I first met you and stuff like that, it was like, yo, I'm trying to get into art. And you was like, that show, the one I met you at your uh, showcase, yeah. that was the, that was my first art show ever, you know? And I think, I think that was a cool introduction into art, you know what I mean? I walked <laughs> in and, uh, and this one dude was on stage painting with fire. Like, he was, uh, he had the spray paint and he was lighting this shit on fire and he's like, and he, Creating art, I'm like, and I walked in on that shit, high as fuck. So I'm like, yeah, he was like, he Damn. wanted your cup, your cup. He wanted a cup, like, nah, bro, just do you? I don't, don't want to really just make it. Yeah, like, he yeah, wanted to do a collab piece. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm, it's my show. I'm already good. Yeah. Just, dude. That's that I try to not say put people on. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, bro, if you want to do something, that's fine. It's yeah. cool. Like I work for everybody. Like even when came to my Miami show, mm -hmm. I had my boys from back home a part of it. Yeah, and even people from Miami who I knew a part of it. Like mm -hmm. I don't mind yeah. sharing so my platform. Yeah, so for those like who, so how long did it take for you to like actually start getting your own art shows? Uh, I don't know. I really, 2017 was the year. Yeah. I would say that art was when I was in showcasing and stuff, but I didn't have the mindset I did now. Mm -hmm. 2019, early 2019 was when I was like, all right, cool, I know where I want to go. Yeah. So it didn't really take that long, so I'd say like two years. Two years? Two years. Yeah, but I mean, any artist can actually have a solo show whenever, but. Mm -hmm. When you actually want to just start going places and stuff, yeah, in two years. So that's how long the process took. Mm -hmm. And like now, oh my god! But oh. like now it's like, I would say, I'm, I'm not counting 2017. I would say I've really been in the game for like two years. Two I was years just gonna ask you that, like, for, <laughs> like for artists that do look up to you, like who who may be interested in like your journey. You know what I'm saying, like. 
if you were to tell them like how long it can possibly take to get your own shows, like how would you? Uh, how would you? What number would you put on that? It's really not. Okay, everybody's different. Everybody different. It's just about consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah, clearly, like. I sometimes I look at some artists who got high followers on social media mm -hmm. and be like, y'all come out to my first show. Mm -hmm. Like that platform, like, cause like damn, you already got all these. You got your followers, you have your first one. I've literally seen that. Like I saw a lot of that last year. Wow. So, and like me, it was like, I already have two solo shows. Yeah. And it's like, it's really about who you are and your consistency. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I said, so that's all that. Everybody's different though. Yeah. But me, I literally got nothing talking about, the talking about, so I asked my next solo show was, so I went to my, um, Spot here, that's where housewares. Yeah, it was like it was like vintage furniture, recently. and that's where you have that. Like, he was Astro Boy. Yeah, and I like it's I know. Crazy. Um, I want to like just talk about that for a second. Like, let them know where it's located too in Atlanta yeah. for people. So it's it. it's in Atlanta. It's at, it's on the side. It's on the side of Desperate Housewares on Boulevard. So if you know where Boulevard is at in Atlanta, Georgia. Coming from, I guess, like what, from the hospital side? Yeah, coming from the hospital. If you're coming from the hospital, you will exactly you'll see, see it right there. See it. So you got to look on the left hand side. And it, it's dope. It's ta it's ta it's taking up the entire wall. And the yeah. one thing I liked about that was that was my first time. Actually, I remember you hit me up, and I recorded like day by day. You know what I'm saying? I think we did like a little sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we explained the art, but just going there day by day and watching you do it, I was just like, damn, like. I did want to say like yeah. thank you. For always inviting us out. Yeah, so I'm not like to see I, the. I'm, if I mess with you and I know you got a mm -hmm. platform and you want to get, you know, some there's some bougie people out here who don't really want to invite other people. Mm -hmm. like, I don't mind inviting people. Yeah. Just, just the more people. the merrier, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, it's a whole there, it's a whole networking community. I, like, yeah. I hate people that just always want to keep the sauce to themselves. Man, I hate that. I, like, don't I hate that. I don't mind. Like, what's the point? Telling y'all like, hey, come through. Yeah, and I I thought that shit was so cool because. It was a time like, you know what I'm saying, you're, you're drawing it. And I'm like, at one point I realized like, oh shit, all this is freehand. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I really it was like Yeah, that. it hit me like, oh, all this is freehand. Yeah, and I remember right. he was like, at one, like the parts, the top left, the top left, like you completely changed it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I remember how it was before and then you changed it. And I was just like, damn, like art is a continuous, a cycle, you know what I'm saying? Like it can change like, just like, you know, day, you know, night by day, day by night, whatever, you know what I mean? I thought that, I thought that was pretty cool because watching it and then seeing the final product, I was like, yo. Crazy. They, um, the guy, dope. my friend there, Ashley. Yeah. Shout out to Ashley. He, um, he constantly tells people, tells me that people always come and look at this yeah. and everything. It's taking up the entire where well, you have to see yeah, it. Yeah, you have to see it and stuff. And that got on a good it. spot too. Yeah, like, on traffic. Like, on traffic. Like, I was so happy for them to just man. be like, yeah, you can do it. And like, I was like, oh God, hopefully they'll be okay with what I want to do. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. There's, there's other murals on the other side of the building, even in the back of the building. Yeah. But you won't be able to look at look it. Look at it. I got, yeah, because the trees and then the back, but I literally got the, the that's what amazed me about that, that building. I was like, why would they not want to do it on yeah. the traffic side where everybody see it? But yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got love. They probably self, uh, probably real sensitive about their art, man. You know what I'm saying? They want to hide it. Yeah. Some shit you got to look at. You know, what I mean? like got to search. I told them I want to do a um a, a re mural. A re mural. But they was like, I mean, they, they, they didn't want mine, but it was like, why everybody loves that piece? Everybody wants it. But mm -hmm. I'm like, it's just because I mean, I don't know. I mean, they want that's fine. With yeah. me, I just like, I want mine doing another piece, uh -huh. just to add like another. Like my platform went up. Like different. something new. Yeah, it went something new. It's something new, different, mm -hmm. just to show y'all like yeah. a different vibe. Art is an imitation of life, right? Right. So however you feeling <laughs> right. however you feeling right now in your life. Yeah, all right. You yeah, wanna express that. Just, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel now. Like, yeah. like that was cool. But, but now I'm on some new shit. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? And I don't know, man, like when it talks about location, 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 you have the best location for that mural, bro. I was just like cause it yeah. hit me one day because I was coming from that side and I was yeah. in traffic and I was like Oh shit, it it's right there. And, you know, yeah. I sent you, um, sent you the IG story or whatever. And I was just like, damn, bro, this shit is so. It never dawned on me. It never dawned on me until today yeah. when I was looking at traffic. I'm like, bro, probably like at least 10,000 people on, like not 10,000, 100,000 people on seen this movie. Yeah. Without even I think more. Really, with, probably that, yeah, yeah, honestly, more. Just like without even realizing. It's just like, just to know that, even if they don't tag me or shout me out, just to know that somebody actually made eye contact. Yeah. That's like that's crazy. Huge. Yeah, that's, that's dope, man. Man, you're dope, bro. This is yeah. like, yeah, I think it's cool, like, actually knowing a painter, like, an artist. That's kind of like crazy. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, because, like, most of the time you hear, like, a lot of, 
a lot of people of color like doing rap, but I rarely know like a lot of people that's doing like visual art. Visual art, art. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm, I'm, you're like the only person that I know. What about you, Zach? Um, Cloud, and then I in, uh, I got introduced to a guy named Art, Art by Reed. Oh, Art really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Art Popular. They had, um, uh, ex, ex, uh, I don't know why I, the fuck I'm fucking they, up this world. They had a Miami one, too. Yeah, they had a Miami one. I think make it, though, because, like, yeah. I mean, I'm just busy the moment. Yeah, you doing your own shit, And it was yeah. like, it was just like, I was busy. Yeah. And stuff. And, and it's, not, it's not just him. I knew a lot of people who had mm -hmm. stuff going on. I'm just like... Yeah, I gotta stay doing my mural and my show just mm -hmm. for me. But I, I still had time to go to some people's stuff where I could make yeah. and everything. But you know, but it, it was it's, it's dope yeah. because I think like once I met you and got introduced, you, you know what I'm saying to the art world and yeah. you know what I'm saying, then everything else just started opening. Now I started seeing more artists. You know, I'm like, oh damn, like this is a whole yeah. other world. Whole there, you know what I'm saying? So great. how do you feel about? The world of art in Atlanta. No, I wouldn't even know. Let's know. Worldwide. Let's not, yeah, Let's worldwide. Because yeah. it's a, another artist that I've been like really looking at now. You know what I mean? I've been trying to research. Uh, a guy named Takashi. <laughs> yeah. How yeah, like Takashi. Yeah. So yeah. I know he, he, he does like this. Yeah. He does like, the, the little uh, the swirl with the bright eyes. Yeah. And, you know he did the graduation. Kanye West album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did the wow. kids. He the kids. He goes out. Yeah. He did so that. Hard. Yeah. And that was a um, dope one. Yeah. He's a if I had my grand, like the godfathers of art, yeah. it'd be Takashi, Cause, probably Ron English, mm -hmm. in, in that form. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like the, but I, I feel like they the godfathers. Yeah. So they they the ones who, cause they're using, they're not regular artists. Mm -hmm. They're not doing portraits of like Mona Lisa type vibes. Right. They're, they're doing like crazy looking stuff. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's kind of, my field and cause is the guy who has that huge mouse type yeah it's like, like it's it's um mouse it's, it's mickey mouse mickey um, mouse he was um i think about if i'm saying you can tell i don't know real art no it's cool i'm not i mean i'm still learning to a time you know i'm still learning to a time i'm trying to look at stuff honestly bro yeah. oh god basket or whatever basket? i dead ass thought he was a rapper oh you did i thought he was a rapper from the my friend patrick used to always post him yeah. on instagram and i was yeah, like i thought he was a rapper Cause I was thinking he was part of like the Shabba Ranks vibe. It's <laughs> 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 my ASAP Rock, ASAP yeah. Bird, Shabba Ranks type. Yeah, that's Shabba Ranks. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. I was thinking like, oh, he probably was like one of the people that just like was just vibing yeah. and stuff. I, I didn't know at the yeah. time. This was like I was like sixteen. Oh yeah. And yeah. then Mars started doing art. I was like, oh, that's who that. I said, no, I'm constantly his face. But I mean, I'm still learning too. Like, it's a lot of artists, and now. You know, I know the mainstream artists. I know mm -hmm. well. I know the hype beats mainstream artists. Right, yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. So like now I'm trying to really learn these other artists, yeah. and it's not even from painting, just mm -hmm. photography or digital animation and stuff. I'm a big um, Pixar, mm -hmm. Disney fan and stuff. There's a lot of That's cool dope. animators yeah. and stuff. Part of that, but you know, just like I mean, art is a lot of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's just like it's people who don't got a big scene who literally been making stuff since we was kids. Yeah. Don't even know. Yeah, and I noticed that like a lot of times people look at art, it has to be on, it's a painting or in a frame or a portrait or whatever, but art could be like somebody can assemble the cups a certain way. And I'll, that's put a, I'll, put a, I'll put a banana. Oh, with duct tape. <laughs> and that's you shit. know, I'm I gonna, got I'm gonna so up. many texts that people knew I was in there. They was right. like, bro, go to the banana. I'm like, I'm not going you to the go. Right. Oh, man. I, knew where, I mean, I knew where it was at, but yeah. it was like. So, all right, so, bro, crazy, no, man. Real, real talk. So, it's really a real banana. Duct tape. duct tape to the wall. And it sold for how much? It's, yeah, it sold for 12 something, 1200000 What? Let me, I gotta check that shit. Oh man, so how like can I submit my like entry for the next See, show? I don't, that was, and that was at the, I think I, it was, I don't think it was at the main Art Basel convention. I think it was just at the Art Basel. Crazy. But he sold, I think, three or two series that day. And my brother i remember he asked me he was like if i had the opportunity to have a silver tongue or just make good art yeah. i said i said make good art and then the next day somebody saw the banana i was like i'll catch him i might have a silver tongue because yeah. whatever he told these people mm -hmm. to make them buy that i'm like yeah. bruh i got over 1200. yeah and like 1200. yeah so that's yeah. my comfort i gotta i gotta get my confidence up and it honestly people always ask me like how much, crazy. how much for your art and stuff they always ask me like how much how much and i tell them 
And like times I wanted to not tell them a high price, so I want to scare them off. And now it's like, bro, I don't care anymore. Like yeah. you know, you can't. And I put this on my Instagram. Yeah. I, I really have Instagram rants, mm-hmm. so I put this on my Instagram. Rant. I said, bro, y'all cannot invest in the art, but not the artist. Y'all can say I love your mm-hmm. art, but when it's the artist, it's the same thing. It's hard, so so yeah. you can't say, oh, I love your art. I love your art. How much? And I say, okay, as an artist, I need this for my bills. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Or it's just not even that. Like, I, everybody, but I'm still, I'm broke too. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like, everybody ain't got money. Mm-hmm. You know, well, in that stature we in, like, we, you know, bills come up and stuff, but it's like, don't, don't DM me and say, I want this, I want this, and I yeah. give you a price, and it's like, seen. Yeah. And not reply back. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, if you would have just respectfully say, I can't afford it, and mm-hmm. I really fuck with your art, I'm sorry. Yeah. Most likely, I'm gonna be like, shit, I discount you, or we can do like a little a payment plan. Yeah. Like, I ain't tripping about it, but like, I understand. It's fine. So, like, with that conversation, because that's an ongoing conversation, yeah. whether with artists or even musicians, you know, yeah. when it talks about their art, because it's yeah. art that you create, whether it's a painting or whether you it's a. Shit. You know what I mean? Or whether it's a chorus or, you know what I'm saying? A, yeah. You know, a three minute song, it's, it's still art. It's you still you art. created it. So, when you put a price on it, I feel like art is. Priceless, mm-hmm. in a sense. Man, honestly, you know I, mean? I thought I seen that banana sell. So I was like, that shit was crazy. Fuck me and I'm just what, like, like what, what, was, what, what was behind it? Like, can you, like, the banana you, thing? Yeah, what was I don't behind? really know. I don't at all. I swear. <laughs> I, he had, it was no backstory. I think the duct tape probably came from Walmart. Yeah. The banana probably came from a Publix. So he probably invested about a cool $5 at the most. Wow. He did. And I, Amazing. I'm not this is him as an artist or a, a visual artist. Yeah. I mean, it's cool, but I'm just like, I just need to. That's, there's no reason for me to like not feel confident about yeah. how my price is anymore. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't. I and wouldn't. Because of that sales. Yeah. Your shit. And it's definitely. Not, and it's not even just his stuff. It's just I see other artists' stuff, and I'm just. But like, are we are we in the age of hype beats? Yeah. Are we in? Because a lot of things are overhyped. Overhyped. I'm gonna tell you was overhyped. Oh, oh, no, 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 go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Me and my friend Joshua's dad was just talking about this. Yeah. I love Travis Scott. I was, but I sometimes I feel like it's just okay from the camps from the lows to the highs, and then he had the fours. Now everything else I just feel like it's push, and now it's hype. It's not even yeah. visual. It's not even like a creative mindset anymore. Yeah. Cause I saw one of these Nike shoes he had, not the ones with the bandanas on it, but I seen it and I was like, yeah, they just pushing it. It's just yeah. hype now. Like let's put his name on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, and that's the other thing with even with art or, or anything right now, like whether it's clothing, mm-hmm. you know, anything. I feel like now we're in the age of hype beats and social media where it's like somebody puts something out and it does not look good at all or it doesn't sound good, but yeah. for some reason it's selling like a motherfucker. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's just because of the person who dropped it or it could be social media, like they may have a hashtag going and boom, it it goes up in flames, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like now like a lot of times trying to gauge like your popularity or or how good your art is or whatever, like now it's just like, you know, I feel like you fall into a place like that. Is it is it really dope or like is it just hype? You know what I'm saying? And then you finally look at it and it's just like Alright, cause it, I say people you know, only. I feel like the majority of people, anyways, fuck with what's like popular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you I mean, gotta think about it. Like when everybody wore Jordans because it was popular. But we were in the age, like we were in the time. Even like now, like during the hype beast age, I feel like now we have like groups of people that's they want to like move away from that. You know what I'm saying? They wanna they wanna make things that's not cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to see like even like a lot of um artists in general like um they try to do stuff like that mm-hmm. they try to have their own like creativity completely to the point where yeah like, it can't resemble shit it can't resemble yeah. shit yeah which i like that yeah yeah i mean you have to step into another another box man you gotta step into another level to where like it's gonna be hard for people to imitate this shit yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah and when they try to then you can see like the flaws you know what i mean right like so with that are you heading into, are you, like when you create your art, are you trying to create it in a way where if people try to imitate, then it's, it's you know, it's a blatant, like, all right, yeah, I can tell you're trying to copy, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you trying to reach that level to the point where it's, it's like, it'll be hella difficult for someone to try to imitate your style, 
You know what I'm saying? The, the energy you bring. I feel like now what I'm trying to do is gonna be like that. Other yeah. stuff is like I can see people. Now it's like I'm really trying to get to the styles like, like you said, you can go somewhere and be like, oh, that's cloud stuff. Yeah. Now, I, now I'm at that level where I feel like I can, I can probably have that title. Yeah, how's your confidence going with man? It's going high. Yeah, that's the yeah, thing. man. It's not going high. Like, it's just like, <laughs> man, it's like, and I don't even be looking at the followers or the likes. I get yeah. like, it's really just the feedback I get. People give me so much feedback, mm -hmm. or they just constantly say this. So it's like. So I got like, I don't know how many mirrors I got under my belt right now. From you last been year. feeling that shit. Yeah, you been feeling the game. How many, like, I don't really know at this moment, like, local artists around me, like, there's not a lot of yeah people doing murals and stuff. If they're doing murals, it's not like big walls. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's my confidence went up real high. Yeah. And I already been, I was, As it should. <laughs> As it should. And like, I ain't always been, I'm, I'm not even a cocky artist yeah. or a cocky person. I'm very, like, Okay, cool. Humble. Yeah, I mean, yeah, chill. Yeah. yeah, chill and stuff, whatever. But like, nah, it's it's not I've done things and just not local things. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's Miami yeah. or it's somewhere in Charlotte or it's somewhere in Georgia yeah. or Atlanta. I'm somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia, whatever. It's like, it's like, okay, it's cool. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I've been realizing like it's okay to have that cocky confidence like about you because I realized like. Like my homie class People, say, man, fuck, fuck being, being humble. humble man. I'm really, I'm really <laughs> tapping into that same type of vibe lately. Like, homie class really like, fuck being like, humble, man. Yeah, for, real. for real, you gotta have that because if you like, for real, I realize that because if we're seeking like validation from other people and our confidence level is not as high as it should be, if somebody not like, if, not, if somebody not really feeling our art, like that can really crush you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So yeah. now I'm on, I'm on a wave. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm not waiting for nobody to tell me what the fuck I got going on. It's cool. Because it's dope regardless. Uh, because it's you dope ready. regardless. Yeah, I'm definitely ready. like, that's why I'm, I'm yeah. going to be close to be doing a full-time art show this year. Mm -hmm. Like, it's dope. last year, it really ain't been full-time. They've been like, when I came, when I came. But now it's like consistent. Like, I just don't care anymore. Like, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. highly ready to, like, the struggles and stuff, that's fine. I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's going to come regardless. Yeah. Like, even what I'm doing now is like, it's still struggles and I'm fine, but it's like, it's still not what I want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now it's going to be like full time hard shit. You do clothes too, right? I know you do the shoes. I'm saying, I'm, saying, I'm just so diverse. I, like, want, I want you to, I want you to do something with this jacket, bro. I can, bro. It's like, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, it's, I'm just, <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Like, I just try to, it's just all about being diverse into whatever I can do and stuff. Like, yeah. I'm just, I can do crazy stuff and like, it's just if I have the opportunity to be on that platform to show mm -hmm. people I can, then it's yeah. like a oh, he really can do a lot of diverse stuff. So, yeah. would you like to do like a like a like a dapper Dan type um, style type style? I mean, I'm cool with whatever. Also, cool oh, you you open for all Dan, of I'm dapper Dan. Cloud, collab. I'm bro, I'm, yeah, that's hey, I'm like that should be crazy. That shit man. right here first. That should be crazy. That should be crazy. I'm fine with. If I get in the platform to do something, I'm you fine. You will. That's like cool. you will. Like it can be. You will. That can be case with. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, you know what? I think Adidas would be a good. Adidas fit. Adidas would be a great Adidas, fit. For Adidas, you. Adidas would be a good fit. A man. great fit. I see that. Be. I see that. Even Nike. I mean anything though. I yeah. mean like because you you can you can adapt. Yeah, I say I don't. Can turn? I don't want to be um just stuck in one lane. Like I said, it's just. Photography is yeah. animation, and just digital art is murals, it's painting, yeah. it's sketching, it's custom clothing, the seven things. It's um even when I I, I look kind of chill on my hat a little bit, not because I didn't. Yeah, man. Oh, Yo, it was for a bit, it. but it's just like not because I didn't want it, just because yeah. like, it's fine. I'm cool with not doing it. Yeah, it's fine. But it's um or even just like doing film or just doing stuff. It's like eight. Ten different things I yeah. know how to do, you can do and it's like all learning on my own and stuff. Like I just you sign right, huh? You sign right? I'm pretty sure I can. I'm, I'm pretty because times I be in the car, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I hear beat. My just, boy Cloud just drop in the man. car, man. I just be <laughs> dropping little bits and stuff, and then be like, yeah, this is definitely sell. You know, it's not hard to sell no yeah. song these days. Yeah, yeah. Man, what? Just, oh, it's not that hard. Oh my it's, just, God. it's not that hard. It's fine. It's, I mean, it's, it's the. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like what age are we? Like, when it comes you know? to everything, like. You drop a song, not gonna lie, some of these songs are pure shit. But that's to my opinion because it's art, you know what I'm saying? In a sense, like, I guess we can have our own opinion on a song or a portrait or whatever, but at the same time, it's that person's art, you know what I mean? So, I mean, in my opinion, some of these songs that are dropping aren't good to me. 
they're not, you know, they're not up to par. But they sell. Shout out like, Future though. Oh yeah, Future's hard. I mean, that's <laughs> like, yeah, come on. Like that's Absolutely. that's a whole nother. Yeah. Some shit just saying. How do you classify a song that's not good? I mean, uh, it, um, it, it depends on what type of hip. You know, you don't get me wrong. Now you have the old school hip hop '90s. Oh, I don't like nobody like Lil Uzi or anything like that. But then you got the other people who's just like, yo, the, so the song, the song just not it. Oh, I'm not the '90s. I fucks with Lil Uzi, Playboy, all of them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, like so if you I'm in say this say age. Like, like I'm a young motherfucker. Like. But I'm just so I'm just curious. Like if you was to say like one song that's like completely trash that that you don't like, what would it be? What would it be? Yeah, would one it be? song right now. Both of y'all think. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Like what, what, I want to know because this. What's one, yours? Um, after y'all think, I can't. I don't. Oh, uh, when it comes to a completely trash song, um, hmm, completely trash. Maybe the song with. Um, Lil Pump and Kanye. Oh yeah. That was just really a yeah. That was just trash. I got a money grabbing song. Yeah. Yeah. Then, uh, no, you know what? You're right. Yeah, that's that's that was a trash song. Yeah, that was. To me too. I gotta say, Murder on My Mind. I think. Oh that's my God! My little cousin CJ ever. was singing that song to me, and it pissed me off. So yeah. Bad. Let I'm me talk about that song. <laughs> trash, and I'm only saying because I'm all for the art. melody. The he like, all right. If Be you hard, all right, if you if, you if you if you take a deep dive and really listen to the lyrics, what you're supposed to, you'll find out it's like, all right, he got murder on his mind. But if you listen to the beat. The melody, how he's doing it, the shit is nice as fuck. Man, I can't even that, hold That's what goes into like you gotta be careful what you listen to, you know. No, but for real though, you gotta. I wouldn't consider that like the most trash song. Like the, I'm saying the, the most song trash. Song with Lil Pump and Kanye, that message, shit was like complete trash. Not the message. Yeah. The message, like when the I when I think trash, of a song that's trash to me, I think of. The message, you know what I'm saying? Basically, music is a music is a, a form of like to get the message out there. Yeah. If you making a song about you having murder on your mind, that shit trash. You literally start. You literally talking about you got murder on your mind. You can see where you can see where it's at now. Last time I looked, I was in. He was singing the song and I looked at him. I'm just like, what are you talking about? This what's his name? name? What's his name again, by the way? Why? Why in uh, metal? Yeah. That's how I'm, that's how I'm, I'm pretty sure he got better he got better music than that. Right. He, he, has that, that he, has that, he has that decent song with Kanye. He got yeah. Song yeah. With Kanye. I, I, I wanna say shout out he's he's hard, but that song is specific. I just don't like the message that it was kinda of putting out there. I mean we got I rappers don't really realize like like I said, yeah. like, they, don't, they got little kids that really like listen mm -hmm. like I said my That's how I felt with uh my twenty one. That's how I felt with twenty one in the beginning. Yeah. Some, no. some of his music was like, Oh shit. You know what I mean? But I had to understand, like, all right, the environment is in, stuff like that. But I was like, oh, shit. But you want to know what's so crazy? I listened to a future interview, and I, and I know people are probably tired of me talking about that, but I listened to a future interview, and we got to understand, like, the news is going to report so-and-so got killed over here, so-and-so got killed over there. You can be scrolling on your phone, you can see that so-and-so got murdered in this, in this city or this state or whatever. So um, I guess you can say, like, people just speaking their experiences. Yeah, I mean, you know that's what, what it is. I mean, hip-hop... Uh, hip or rap should be coming from your experience. That's what how it started. Like they rapping from you know what I'm saying from your experience of where they're at. So do you think it's the parents' responsibility to like um, monitor what their yeah. kids listening yeah. to? I mean, too, we gotta understand. But, we but, but not we're in a different time though. Like now, kids are able to have iPads and you and now like all the shit that kids bought get it all too. But I'm what? saying all the shit that we was blocked from at, at, you know when we were younger it's much harder to do that shit with like, kids you now can, you can like be in the car they play a song yeah and like your mom be like oh i'm turn turn yeah like, well they would come they wouldn't even play yeah. some of those songs on the radio but now it's like they'll allow certain curse words profanity words on you know on the on the song now yeah, on, you know it's just so, a scary way now yeah. for like the young kids yeah the it young, is scary, that yeah. young generation as in teens or late mm -hmm. like late teens more like from like five all the way to ten mm -hmm. like scary now Cause yeah. like, in a way, I can say these kids now are more advanced than kids like us when yeah, we were little. Sure. I'm pretty sure yeah, like my little yeah. cousin is more advanced than me. Yo, they can work a hot pad. Yeah, work all, like, that, all that fast. Too, yeah. But it's just like what kind of information they get is scary. Yeah. Like literally, school shooting. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already know that happened. Yeah. I saw the video when he did it. Like yeah. that's scary that they can mm -hmm. see that. But they can see. They can see murders. Like I would. I, I remember murders. like being younger. Like 
trying to see that type of stuff, you had to go to like a specific site. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I don't even to get to that site, like took a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't remember seeing stuff like that growing up. I mean, like as the as the uh, expansion of I'm, social media. All right, I'm gonna be real too. Like I, I don't even. I think the only real tragedy I remember being young was 9/11. Yeah, 9/11. Oh well, I mean, Other well. Than that, I mean, what do you mean? What are you about to say? No, I was gonna say like I mean, as far as seeing tragedy, like I grew up in Chicago, I've seen a lot of a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. But um, but like as, if we're talking about worldwide tragedy, like yeah, the 9/11 thing was probably like the biggest event for my lifestyle. But then as we continue to get older, like damn, like we can be on Facebook scrolling and we seeing a live murder on live. Yeah, like a kid, it's, it's, like it's, a kid back in the Bronx. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. Think about MTV, bro. I was watching yeah. MTV True Crime the other day, and they showing the whole dead body of Kanika Jenkins, her whole body. Damn. That shit, it's yeah. like, bro, it's like, think about it. Like, we may not realize how that shit can really, like, fuck with you mentally. Like, you literally seeing somebody whole dead body, yeah. like, on TV, and, like, it's not blurred out. You seeing her complete, unedited, Full blown body. Yeah, it's crazy. That shit crazy, man. It's crazy. Like well, it's we're, we're crazy. living, we're, but you know, like I said, like we're living in a time where we are able to process a lot of information really quick. So they're gonna give you everything. They're trying to desensitize. That's you. what brings up. Remember, I don't know earlier we're talking about movies. Yep. And that was like every movie somebody dies. Yep. And literally, we was talking about that. I was talking with somebody. And we was like, but like every movie, it's just like it's now just like it's okay with having somebody die because yeah. that's how it is. Like we're, we're desensitized. Yeah, just like oh, and it's like it's, we're very desensitized. Yeah, it's just like no, it's, it's no happy in the movies. Yeah, look at the shit that's going on in real life, like shit that's going on in Iran or Syria or whatever, or even in America. Like we're really we talk about it for that first couple of days, and after that we're oh shit, Cardi B got them doing this. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're why really desensitized. Like our our attention spans are very very low. You gotta understand like the so amount of I mean, first of all, if you follow any media platform, let's say the Shade Room, let's say TMZ, I uh, War of Star, anything. You know, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but imagine if you watch it anything my boy, like that, you're my boy got my shade room. shit. <laughs> you gotta be up there to get. To get First of all, I think the biggest joke of it all is like having a president that's tweeting like crazy and talking to everything that's that on shit. his mind. That, that, shit that honestly should mind. not be. I'm gonna be real. If you that high power, I would not be. Also, have no social media platform. And the for fact, what? You already have the highest platform in the world. Why do yeah. you need to be tweeting or Instagramming? Yeah, yeah. The, and that's it's like damn. Like I've never like I'm starting to experience shit. Like well, we're all experiencing this shit. Like we're seeing our president do the most on social. Bro, we're media. in the hype beast, bro. Tr Trump that's is, crazy. Trump is the most. Bro, he's he, the most and, celebrity. And I, I'm gonna tell you this president. right now. I'm gonna tell you this right now. What's today? What's today? Today is January 18th. Two days right. my birthday. Hey. But I'm telling you now, not I'm not a Trump supporter, I'm not a Trump voter, whatever. I'm just saying how like how he captivates America, how he gets to his voters, he's gonna get reelected. I'm I'm just like you can look at like how the stock market is doing all this blah blah blah. He's gonna, he's gonna get reelected because of and you gotta think like the last what, two or three presidents have served two terms, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know what I mean? If something's going good in your in your first term, most likely you're gonna get picked up for the second term. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's gonna go. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like YG and, and Nipsey said, you feel me? Fuck Donald Trump. You know what I mean? But Fuck Donald Trump. Most is you know what? You know we're here for we here for cloud, man. We is here for cloud. We ain't even talking about Donald Trump. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's just nice to hit on real world situations. So. Mm -hmm. Is it, I mean, no, it is. I mean, you gotta look at it. And then the other thing was, I don't want to get too deep in politics. Yeah, I try, I try not to because I can't. No, I can't really deep. Especially we've been drinking too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the, one thing, the, the one thing I do want to say about the difference of you know how the media shows Trump versus Obama or Bush or whatever, the media I feel like is attacking Trump or picking up things that Obama has done the same thing. Like Obama sent over. Thousands of drones to Syria. You know what I'm saying? Drone strikes. You know what I'm saying? But the one attack that Trump has done, you know what I mean? That's been reported. It just we go crazy. It's just you know the way I, I think because he literally tweeted America. 
you know, flat. And I'm just like, oh god, they about to. I think I just the way and he did. Just the way how he did yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, of course, they all been doing it. It's just the way how he did it was yeah. like, oh, I killed you, in yeah. America. I'm like, oh yeah, god, about to yeah. Do. And I think I think it's the way probably he's not professional. That's what, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't. He, he's gonna say whatever is on his mind. He doesn't follow the script. Whatever his press is telling him, or PR or whatever, is telling him he's not saying that shit. He's com completely doing something else. And the other thing was, I don't believe he actually thought he was gonna be voted and win as uh, president because it's, I it's think a, he knew. no, no, no. He, he, he didn't know. He didn't know. I'm telling you because the shit that's going on now. Because now they sent the articles of impeachment to to the Senate. I mean, you got I'm telling about, you, he did not believe he was going to I mean, president. like you say, again, we're in the, the, the time of the high like, that, that was the most popular conversation. The most yeah. popular. Like, Trump, 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 yeah. Trump, 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 yeah. Because I guarantee if Kanye was probably doing that shit, if Kanye does run for 2024 or whatever, well, he's not now. I, mean, I, don't, think he's anybody. I don't know what Kanye is. I'm kind of got started off subject, but I was, he was supposed to have a Sunday shirt. I wasn't going to go. It's the I mean, I miss him. Man. You know, he did one in Miami service. at Newburgh, man. He did one in Miami too. The day I left, oh, but it wasn't. A, it was a Sunday. Service. It was a some little. I wanted to go to the one at uh, at Coachella, man. man. That's the one I wanted to go to. You I know, a guy was selling man. grass from. Um, he was selling the grass. He was. Yeah, yeah. He, he put it on eBay, bro. He sell. He was on Amazon. Is he yo? Did some, he win? Did somebody, somebody buy that shit? I don't know. I, I, mean, know, I just know the post was You want to know what's so crazy? Back in the days, I, man, I remember like somebody was selling like Michael Jordan cigar. Back in the days, growing up in Chicago, like Michael Jordan. Bro, they're that. selling the, the, the BMW bro, you that have, Tupac got shot in. If you have. It's on auction. Forget that, bro. They're selling the BMW um, X got shot in. They, they had that junk at the museum. Dude, who want to buy Shown. that shit? Bro, I'm not like his mom had, Like, bro, like. Cause they had his album release and yeah. Art Basel. And they like, did they clean it? It's they clean it, but oh, I was oh, like, oh. why the hell would y'all show that? Like, yeah, that's crazy. It's in a museum. Yeah, that's I'm like, crazy. that is so weird. We're so desensitized. It's insane, bro. That's the thing, though. A motherfucker like, can get shot right in front of you. You can post it on live. Yeah. And they're not gonna get. They're gonna care for about the first week. And then that's it. But that's why you gotta understand that's a it. lot of people dealing with like mental issues because you gotta understand people are so desensitized to the point where somebody I can go to you and say like damn I'm I'm mentally not here I can like vent to you like yeah. wholeheartedly and you may not be able to reciprocate that I mean you know what I'm saying or mm -hmm. feel me for real because yeah. people are so desensitized. Yeah, but I mean I don't know man. That's, that's shit way. crazy. That's that's the way we in, bro. That's the world we in. That's, but it's a scary world. Through all, that, all, through all, that, all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? That was just like 10 years of what's been going now. So we yeah. whole new decade. Yeah. What's going to happen in 2030? Like, how it's going to be? Bro. Like, it's just like robots taking your jobs. No, that's the yeah. real thing. That's the real thing. Robots. robots are doing it. I mean, they robots had that. But they had that thing going on for a little bit. Like, I think 2018, they had this, like, little anim animated droid. It was a female or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, the robots, you know? I mean, the world's getting more lazy and stuff, man. Yeah. I feel sorry for my great 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 grandchildren who got lit. <laughs> into yeah, the shit. I, 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 like, I, like, I was like, really gonna be? Like, like yeah, like, bro, like 2070. You know? Like, humans gonna be flying, bro. We're not even gonna be walking no more. We're gonna be fucking. Like, bro, we're gonna be fucking bugs. cyborgs. I think we're gonna really. I really. I mean, believe they got a lot of things. You know what I mean? It's just they got the and the. And whatever the the cyborg arms, they got the I really believe the 3D printed yeah. 3D printed organs and shit. Yeah, I mean, you gotta also shit, understand this like it's gonna, it's gonna be robots. It's gonna be it's gonna be robots. First of all, a lot of people feel like having a kid is like a form of like failure or some shit. So a lot of people don't. All right, so think about this. Think, think think about the this. The reproductive right system is go as low. The rate that people is die, like the life expectancy is very low. The incarceration low. has been high. The yeah. incarceration has yeah. been high. Let's you think about the kind of group You know, in Georgia, system. man, in Atlanta, I know, especially in Atlanta, they'll send your ass to jail and then they expect for a you, ticket. And then, they'll, then right. they'll, like, expect for you to pay this bid. Yeah. Like, bro, I can't even afford a ticket. You want me to pay for my bid? That's yeah. like $10,000? Yeah. Well, they want and you to be you know, I know, you know, it's motherfuckers, man. I had, you know, had an incident, blah, 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 but motherfuckers would. Be in jail for like a week or two, damn near a month, yeah. over a ticket. Over a ticket. Yeah. Like, no registration. You in jail for a month because you can't pay bond. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. No, for real, I, can't I, can't I can't pay my bond. Like, bro, I, 
Like, that's my, that's my I, check. I, I might have money to pay my insurance. Where the fuck you think I'm gonna pay my goddamn bond? <laughs> like, that's you know, the fucking thing about it. That's, you know what I mean? that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Right? I mean, I got friends overseas who constantly be like, I would love to come there, but y'all messed up. I'm yeah. just like, I know. Yo, honestly, I feel like you gotta remember, like we talk about third world countries. Don't get me wrong, because I lived in Korea, I've been to Israel, I've been, you know what I'm saying? I've been to a few countries, and it's dope. What I learned, America, man, America is the ghetto, bro. America, America is, is the ghetto. I'm I trying feel to like tell America, you, America, America is, like, America is the ghetto, full of, like, selfishness. I mean, right. everybody, I'm, first of all, I think selfishness America's is everywhere. The I think selfishness is everywhere, but I'm saying, like, evolution, like, technology-wise, the way the world works and how people react to each other in other in other places. You gotta, you gotta remember, you know like, we was in Korea, like, we even have no issue dealing with, like, police. Like, the police you, don't you, even you, have you guns. Run a, yeah. Police don't have guns. Yeah. Running a red light was a common thing. Yeah. You're not getting no ticket. You're not getting yeah. flashed for that. Like yeah. I know in Chicago growing up, man, I used to have a thousand tickets, man. You it's a yellow light, you go, they gonna flash you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you owe the ticket, then what if you can't pay that ticket, then your license gets suspended and all these other fees come yeah. along and then you just in a whole bond. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know, man. That's that, that's the, that's going, I man. feel like that's the rare in the world now. I mean that's what that's really what it is. But throughout all this shit, we got cloud, man. He's, <laughs> he he he, li hey, he lights up I the like world. I like how you brought him back to cloud. I mean, you know what I'm he, he, he lights up the world, man. With with the with, with the, the art, art. Yeah. and I love the colors that you use as well. Like that, and it's the energy thing. So it's like the bright colors yeah. that you use, and it's like happiness. And I never I never got to ask you this before, but um, what what is like the reason behind your name, and then why you use the clouds and all the like the colors you use? He really thinking. Look, I mean. I'm <laughs> I never got to ask that's you that question, I mean, but now it's yeah, I mean, the main question everybody yeah. asked, ask, like, what? Yeah. How y'all? I mean, okay, Cloud, I was bullshitting because, like, making an Instagram name. Yeah. That Cloud part. But the Cruiser part was. Right? The was, No, no, no. It was, a, um, it was like some kind of hat or whatever it was called Cloud. Brand called Cloud Kicker. Yeah. And I was a big Wiz Khalifa fan at the top. Yeah. Wow. And I remember he wore it. I'm just like, Kicker, that's fine. Yeah. But then I'm just like, Cruising would be cool. I so put cruiser. Cool. At first, my old IG was cloud underscore cruiser, but I got locked out of Yahoo. Mm -hmm. Or whatever, and then it's like, oh, you can't sign Yahoo, okay, the account gone. Had to make oh, a new account shit. and make cloud X cruiser. Oh, the yeah. X thing was kind of hot at the moment. I mm -hmm. remember ASAP did the ASAP X Rocky, mm -hmm. and then that artist, Jacob Rasha, he had did Jacob X yeah. Rasha. I'm like, okay, I have the X and all that. That's how this came. Hopefully, Instagram will let me get Cloud Cruiser because they said they're supposed to be deleting Instagram accounts that's been active. And the Cloud Cruiser Instagram account is it's been active for three years. Yeah. And I want this, this Cloud Cruiser. But I mean, that's how that came about. But then the more I go into it, it's like, okay, Cruiser is cool. Cloud Cruiser, that's all right. I, I start thinking of more things. Like, yeah. I'm a huge daydreamer. Yeah. yeah. And Cloud Cruiser is like, okay, cruising around the clouds is yeah. a nice idea because it's just staying your daydream. Mm -hmm. and all that. And I love Daydreamer. I was gonna say too at the same <laughs> time. Do, do, do somebody? I do. I love Daydreamer. Yeah, like, oh. So, so do, do, do people actually come up to you and be like, "Hey, Cloud X Cruiser"? Oh my God, no! They be cloud. <laughs> it's Cloud, 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 Cloud. What's up, Cloud, Cloud? And it's cool. My mom heard it for Don't me. Don't you, Cloud. My mom, I mean, I appreciate it. It's nice, like. <laughs> But from, that's from, how I was introduced. Like, I mean, from the, yeah, I mean, I had a name. Every, I had the name every decade. That's cool. Like, yeah. like Wacky is my hometown nickname. Then it's Everyon. Then it's E. Now it's Cloud. So it's like, cool. oh shit. And you ever, you ever had, you, you got some friends where, like, they got it. You know what I'm saying? You've been using their nickname for so long, you kind of forget their first, like, they their first name. Yeah, yeah. From, I mean, it's been hell of time. I'm like, god damn, man. I've been knowing you for how long? I just forgot your real name. Like, Jay, cool. nigga, what? what's your real name, Jared? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, though. I mean, it happens a lot, especially now because everybody has a creative name. Mm -hmm. Or you just go off their social media handle. Yeah. Oh, what's up? Free Game Ready Podcast. Yeah. What's up, y'all? No, up? That, that's real. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Somebody can ask me, like, what's up, Fierce underscore African one? What? Who the fuck said that? So <laughs> I mean, baby, you like that. Man. Man. Really, if anybody see me like this cloud, like just say cloud, yeah. I said oh cloud cruising and stuff and everything. I never thought cloud would be a nickname. For yeah, me. I just was like yo, that's just an IG handle I made. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't have no way of it incorporating my art, but surprisingly, it is incorporated into my art now. Mm -hmm. I never had the idea. And like I said my clouds I again, mean, it was just me as an abstract kind of, as yeah. an abstract, to show my abstract style. Yeah, and stuff, a, a style that I can do like. 
just efforts, uh, effortlessly. Yeah, that drink in tea now. Nah, it is. Yeah. Shout out to you, man. Yeah. 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 I, 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 like, I like this drink, man. So, like, tell the people again. Okay, right. so yeah. it's Island Breeze. So, like, Island Breeze. Do you guys have enough? Because we're going to refill since we almost, like, wrapping up the interview. I, I, I have enough. Yeah. Have enough? I, I got enough. I got enough to get me. Okay, I'm so. I'm long stretch, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm probably the only one that's probably going to, like, refill my cup. Oh, because to get lady, huh? I'm not, you know. Raven, you good? Yeah. Ray, you good? You sure you I, want another? Is he quiet yeah. as hell, huh? <laughs> you don't know what's so crazy because. Hey, y'all about to see that bad boy movie? Yeah. What time is it? What time is it? 9 30. I heard it was dope. Man, I'm about to see it. Like I told y'all, bro, I've seen five straight movies, six straight movies, and the yeah. theater is I died. If Will Smith Somebody died. Martin, if Will Smith or Martin Lord died in this movie, bro. Yo, Quinn is slim. I'm fucking pissed. I just want to say that, that shit, shit right now, bro. Is this our first time talking about it on the podcast? Yeah, this is our first fucking time Queen talking is, about I it. I have to give a I'm shout out to pissed, Johnny bro. Winston on that. On, on, on that. Bro, I'm fucking pissed, bro. I, I love the movie. Yeah. I love the movie. Like, the way they captured, like, everywhere they were at. Like, when they were in New Orleans, like, in the road, like the dance scene, the sex scene, everything was dope. Like the way they captured it, like the colors, the vibe, everything. But goddamn, why the she, fuck did they have to die, bro? And it's like how they died. The whole time, by, I by, know by another you. black person, man. Oh, for, well, how much for it? 50k, 100k, some shit like that. But that, but God, you, know, you want to know what? I'm glad that that happened like that because that's really what's going on. People is switching but, up. But now. Dang, it was such a beautiful Red. movie, man. Loyalty, let's make loyalty cool again. People ain't being loyal. That's really like that's really what's going on. People not being loyal to for no cash. What? You fifty thousand for I'm gonna loyal to what? Damn, but it was such a beautiful movie, man. I ain't gonna lie, like it's just, it's the just, style I, of it. I knew like, that wasn't gonna make it there. I like everything was just perfect. Yeah, man. like it's just like my stomach dropping I saw them sirens coming around the airport. And it's just like I knew they were gonna die at that point. I didn't know they were gonna die. I literally thought they was gonna get arrested, but when they died, that pissed me off. Like right there, because it's I like it's not that. even that. If y'all look more into it, like okay, like when it was like doing the news report, mm-hmm. the news anchor said they were armed and dangerous. They weren't armed. That's why they shot. Oh them. no, they were armed. They were not armed. They, they had the gun on them. He literally, they literally was walking to oh, the yeah, car. Yeah. Oh, they were. They, so they, oh, and yeah, then yeah. when she died yeah. from the cop shooting, he me. picked her up, walking her to. Yeah. They still shot. You know what that showed? Black people just getting killed for no reason. I, that's I mean, what's but really I call. Call. it's just like, but how many times we gotta watch the same movie about this? Okay, let's try. Yeah. Let's finally about. make a movie that shows this. That movie could have been an uprising type vibe movie. Yeah, it could have. They been. killed it, and they, it been. they didn't do that. I, 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 was, like, I was, I was ready. I, I was ready. You saying you saying you tired of fucking movies portraying black people as always getting killed, yeah. always you know dying. Like we got that message, bro. You know what I mean? Netflix shows be showing yeah. that shit like the, literally. The black man. Black man the, the, the fact, loud yelling black woman. Let, 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 let's think about this for like a few seconds. Tell me one black, full blown black movie that you've ever seen that's like full that has a happy ending. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. Even though that's not a black movie, but I mean, it's played by black. That was it played so by. Bad. It had a black lead though with Denzel, and it's just like oh, okay, we talking about real, real. Okay, uh, don't be a menace. Why drink of orange juice? But see, in those are movies. That they had a good ending. The fact you can't, but saying the thing is, <laughs> the fact that we can't even really no. find a good movie, yeah. that's the thing. The only thing that I could possibly think about was like, oh, Love and Basketball. basketball. And everybody knows yeah, my, favorite movie, my favorite movie. My favorite movie. What about the, did the Wood have a uh, good ending? I don't remember. The Wood's fine. The Wood's not even a black movie. I'm just playing y'all. Oh, I'm coming just to saying. America yeah. Coming to America Come to America. But see, again, those are movies that's not even real. That was in the 90s. That, 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 that's not, not even dealing, dealing with black. Movies. That's not even really dealing with black issues. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Especially now. There's never, there's never gonna be a good but movie. But think about it, there's not black no issues. black like, movies where it's like portraying like, a black person as being like full blown, like in a, in a great position, a great ending, you know what I'm saying? Or like a bad position. Okay, I, I probably know a movie. There's only one movie that's always like, the What's black that? person was not cool and all this, and now he's, everybody fuck with him. And that's Spider Man with Miles Morales. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite yeah. movie. Now, Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Hey, you know why, I, that's I, why it got so big because they well, finally showed the movie. movie. You know why I was kind of mad about Black Panther? Not gonna lie, I was on Killmonger's side. No, everybody was on Killmonger's side. I was on Killmonger's side the whole time. Everybody was. I told my son, I said, son, when you get older, you're gonna realize that the the bad, the villains in the movie are gonna actually like turn out to be the good guys when you get yeah. older because you realize like, oh shit. Killmonger did make sense. The Joker, he made fucking sense. It's a lot of like banging, I think too. Like in the Batman, uh, Batman, yeah. fucking what, for Batman Forever or some shit like that. 
Nah, I, I know what you're talking you about. You know what I'm talking about? With Bane in there, right? Yeah, yeah. With the shit he was talking about, I was like, you know what, bro? I kind of feel what you're saying now. You know what I'm That's saying? That's the way it is, people are. Yeah. Okay, or we can use the Joker, 2019, the movie. Yeah. Oh, we haven't seen that yet. Y'all haven't seen that yet? No. Oh, y'all sleep. We were talking about that. Oh, my God. Night. That's the yeah. best. That's the best you movie I've seen. I'm going to watch it right now. It's on Amazon Prime. I'm the, that's oh, the best that's movie I've seen. And, like, a lot of people just, like, you put a mental. You you take all these services away from a mental ill patient. Yeah. Y'all be like, okay, I'm mentally ill. I need help. Okay, but we can't afford it no more, so you're on your own. And that's what. And that's where the movie took off. You mm-hmm. can't expect for nobody to be, I need help, I need help, but it's like, well, fuck it. Yeah. And not for them to retaliate. Yeah. That's how it is. It's just like, again, it was, I ain't gonna lie, some points he was like, it's not weird. But I mean, mm-hmm. when you watch the movie, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. I heard that it was that's what I'm saying. A lot of people are siding with the villain now because they finally made, okay, or a movie I'm pretty sure y'all seen before, Thanos. Thanos, yeah. Thanos. He wanted to recreate, not. Okay, what he did was fucked up, of course. But I'm saying, the way he did his vision, I understood what he was, saying. Understood what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's a lot of these villains, yeah. who people see the villains, yeah. is like, well, I'm kind of trying to make the world better or show y'all that what's going on is not and, and, and yeah. that, yeah, and, and that's, that's what I told, that's what I told my son. I'm like, yo, like, you're gonna really, like, my son only five, so of course, Spider Man is the, like, Spider Man is Captain America to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Especially seeing a black boy as yeah. Spider Man. But I told him, I said, yo, when you get older, you're not gonna realize it now, but when you get older, you're gonna realize, like, some of those villains, not all of them, but some of them were really trying to show us the right way. But, have, have, have you seen that meme? <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, it, it has somebody hold a cup and it'd be like, when the villains start making sense. Oh yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like, this. <laughs> I love that meme, when the villains start making Yo, sense in the movie. Making, I, and I was just like, mm, I, I peeped that, that shit when I was, when I peeped that shit when I was a little younger, you know what I'm saying? I, I kind of peeped that shit like, you know you know what? Like for some reason, I kind of wanted the bad guy to win. Like, yeah, be like that. you know what I'm saying? I mean, just- Sometimes you want the bad guy to win because the bad because guy actually, always the bad, actually, bad guy. The bad guy has a reason to be the bad guy. The bad guy survives certain type of shit. So the bad guy may not be the bad guy. You know what I noticed? The bad guy, guy, sometimes the bad guy, it's the good guy. is the guy or the, or the woman who wants to free your mind. No, for real. From like, that social structure. Think about it. Think about it. I see. I mean, because y'all know, it's no. um, on the Marvel movie um, with Ant-Man, the second Ant-Man. Yeah. It was a villain. It was the girl. Ghost. Yeah, that girl. Yeah. Girl, they saw her as a villain, but she trying to find a cure to save her life. Yeah. Exactly. The one that's messing me up. Yeah. I got to do this. To get not to fuck it. y'all up because I'm trying to fix myself yeah. and y'all fucking everything up for and me. And she's not a bad guy. And she's not a bad guy. She's not, she's not, she's she's not, not a bad villain. Right. Villain. right. So it was like, hmm. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Just like, oh, cracking codes here. No cracking codes. No for real. I got to be caught from my FBI agent. I got to be caught from my FBI agent. Start t- still. Oh yeah, the yo man, we had that conversation <laughs> earlier before the show started. Like, I, we were thinking about some shit the other. I was thinking about some shit the other day. I didn't tell a soul. I was thinking about this shit. What the I fuck? Go, you think that you didn't tell a soul? I go on fucking Facebook and guess what I see? What? That shit I was thinking about. What shit? I can't really tell you. I, I was thinking about that shit. That Boy, shit. Boy, no that shit, I, that shit. No, for real though, that I told shit. you that. No, I told you that. Like, man, I was like, I was talking about like. Uh, but see, you hotel, were talking about it. Hotel, I was hotels in Vegas. Type yeah, and that shit popped up. Yeah. But I whole time, I'm like, I'm talking to you, like, I'm texting you, like, and you didn't even search it then. You didn't even I search didn't it. search. I'm telling you, like, man, just kind of got this, like, my sister got this cool ass spot in Vegas. Da, da, da. So I go, I go on Facebook. First thing I see is oh, the fucking hotel I was just talking about. Bro, it's, that shit's not a coincidence. Yo, everybody, is, been telling us everybody this shit. is talking about it. Like that's not a coincidence. Gee, Eric Snowden been telling us this shit for years now. Bro, uh, NSA whistleblower, look, look him up. You know what I'm saying? That he, shit is beyond me. Like, dude is low key. He's an American hero. Yeah. Now he's an American hero. Yeah. Now the government, all that shit, trying to call him a traitor. But why? If America calls you a traitor, I just want to let you know that you're pr- most you're likely you're traitor. probably a good guy. No, not a traitor. You're a good guy. Oh, okay. Because America. Is the last person we talking about some good guy, bad guy shit. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, but man, I'm just saying that shit is beyond me, man. I hate when I'm thinking about some shit and I'm, I'm scrolling on social media and the shit pops up. It's like it's kind of yeah. like is my brain connected to my phone? Yeah, we in the matrix to, now, man. Like what type of world are we living in? To the we point in the matrix. What I my thoughts are becoming. It's kind of crazy because like like their thoughts are becoming what you see. That's like a real fucking thing. Like your thoughts is really like a visual You're in the thing. You 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 watch the matrix. Bro, I already know, bro. Sometimes I'm. My boy Cloud, man. 
Yeah. 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 I'm ready for that shit. That's gonna be amazing. I want Keanu Reeves to be in that shit. He's still gonna be. Bro, that shit crazy. So we gotta see. Apparently he did, but it's a movie. Yeah. Bobby, I think everybody needs to watch all the uh, every Matrix again because when the Matrix came out, I was young as fuck, and I was getting that shit. But now I think everybody, everybody gotta watch the Matrix, man. I think a lot of shit just goes on like aliens, all type of shit. Yeah. Anything that you probably believe, is probably fucking out there. Like Bigfoot's probably out there. I there's no coincidence that everybody had these dogs. There's, there's no exactly. coincidence, bro. We're all connected in some type of weird way. We like, are. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Cloud, man, um... What's bro, next, you, man? You, you, you killed this shit. What's next for you, man? Man, honestly, bro, I, I don't want to put a lot of out there because I don't want to juice myself or then, yeah. you know, it don't happen. Yeah. But I got this, this show coming out. I mean, yeah, it will. I can speak. Yeah, it will. It will. But again, just got a lot of ideas and stuff going. I know for sure I want to do a zine article release this mm -hmm. fall, so I definitely keep y'all moving. All right, so look at that. Yeah. yeah. So the zine just featuring other people and everything, or just having like a little magazine. Try to get everybody else a little platform themselves. Yeah. To have like you know a lot of people ain't been to magazines. Mm -hmm. and it'd just be cool to say, yo, I'm in like a, a cool magazine. zine magazine. Yeah. 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 A little article. So that's gonna be like late fall. That's my next little solo thing. It won't be a art show, mm -hmm. but a little solo thing. And um, this this whole year before summer, like it's a lot of stuff going on. Like I got a little show. I'm doing a lot of painting at. Mm -hmm. Um, probably probably two more murals in different locations. And I got hopefully a big event. But yeah. if that comes, y'all definitely will know about it. When that comes. Before then, okay, when it comes, mm -hmm. y'all definitely know about it. <laughs> but yeah, I probably. Gonna be like highly excited about that. Yeah. But that's just spring. That's yeah, not even coming. Doesn't talk about the summer. Summer. But I got a fall. I got a fall idea, but yeah. that's just like for sure. But like that's yeah. not. That's what the next couple of months. Yeah, just like this. Don't forget, I, 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 I really, I really want to see. Like, I want to get this denim jacket designed. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make sure you put it on the whole time. This is a lot of things. I can't wait to see what happens. Yeah. I mean, this is a a lot of promising stuff's gonna happen this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So. I can see it, man. Like I mean, the thing about last, the last, the, the last thing interview you did, did compared to like right now, now, you did a whole lot, did of, a shit. lot of shit. So we look at from now. How to do you feel about next way? time? I mean, I was happy. I mean, times I had, yeah, lots of, even had like some celebrities mm -hmm. hit me up, but they want paper art. Oh, you want to talk? Oh, you can. I don't want to talk. About, I don't care. Oh, shit, let's talk about it. Like, I mean, okay, you, you can't be enough. <laughs> no, talk about this shit, man. Man, hey, all I'm gonna say is, bro, you're not gonna DM me. I, I DM'd you and you say, I look for artists, I cool, when I pull up. But mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, so y'all gonna spend money to pay for my art, but yeah. no, you don't want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, bro, I'm not, I'm not camping. I'm not camping no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of camping. I yeah. know. A, a B C D E F G H I J <laughs> K yeah. Yeah. camping out there no more. Yeah. yeah. Cause they want to the, they want to pay for no art, but they want to. Throw money on strippers. Mm -hmm. Call them up, man. Look, mm -hmm. pay for the art, man. What you want to know? Pay that, for the that, art, man. That, that brings me like to Shiggy. Like you gotta understand. Like if y'all know that incident with like Shiggy. Like Shiggy, uh, who was? Oh, it? Fab and Fab. Yeah, yeah, Fab yeah, yeah. wanted to do it. Uh, like Shiggy to do a dance off his song. And, and Shiggy, Shiggy like you gotta pay. Yeah. yeah. Fab yeah, like what? I mean, I thought I turned down, especially you know Alphabet Camp. Mm-hmm. I just was like, bro, I don't really care anymore. Like, yeah. literally, I'm not saying he can huge, big, or mm -hmm. whatever. It's just like, it's just like, I just, I don't care. Yeah. Like, you really can't, you can't put yourself on this stature and not want to pay nobody they are. Mm -hmm. Like, that's yeah. like, you don't even pay for my gas money. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, like as fuck. That's I'm not, I'm not. And you claim you get getting money. You ain't. <laughs> yeah, so we just going. Hey man, let the man live his best 2019. Yeah. I'm in 2020 now. 2020, 2020 is like a decade. Yeah. And um, and there's other people too. You know, that's just one of the names. So, like I said, if you're an up and coming person and this big Instagram account or this big celebrity is like, yeah. hey, I want you here, but I ain't finna pay for you, blah, 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 it's better just say no. Yeah. It's not worth it. Disposure is cool, but the fact that you can really say I told this person no, it's like, oh, he for real, for real. Let me yeah, that's big time. Got. Let me see what you got going. You are really a boss. You control your own narrative. Ownership, ownership. That means when yeah. you see who's talking about ownership, like that means like really knowing what the fuck you worth. No one, no one, shit. no one, one can tell you what to do with what the fuck you got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I said, even if I 
everybody got money, but I don't mind this kind of. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, I get it. I mean, the fact that you want support is cool. Yeah. But I mean, you throw money on shirts sure that. You, you can pay for this artwork. Yeah, you can, you can pay for it. You can pay for it. paint supplies. It yeah. cost like less than forty dollars in the whole. Oh, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Spray can. Yeah. How I'm supposed to make art? Man, got the art supplies, y'all. Right. So. How terrible of you. <laughs> like you and me. Where the fuck you was? Yeah. I'm a bit artist, man. Yeah. I'm a bit artist. I want to go outside and go on a hike. Yeah. Like. Yeah. You can't pay for art supplies. How I'm supposed to make? I'm just. It's just a whole lot of things. Again, like I said in that conversation beginning, mm -hmm. you can't love the art. And not want to respect the artist. Yeah, for real. You gotta support your artist, man. Yeah. If you like my art, well, like me that I got rent to, bro. Right. <laughs> like, you got a car too. You got a car. I got a car too. I got a car too. Man, I'm car insurance, all that shit, man. Health insurance. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, other day, man, it's just everything's a learning process. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just. I, I, I consulted some people, I was like, yo, how do I feel kind of bad? I said, no, bro, it happens. Like, it's not yeah. going to be the only person. But again, it's just, it's life. And it's just nice to know I have that so mm -hmm. I can push that to younger creatives. Like, hey, man, I know it's a big name, but the fact that that person don't even want to pay for your time yeah. or pay for your supplies. Absolutely. And that's, you know, yeah. exposure yeah. is going to come. Especially in this age, mm -hmm. exposure is going to eventually come. Yeah. But time and money, well, money come, but yeah. time, that, you can't get that shit back. You ain't gonna get that back. Yeah. And I've learned that. I, I lost two friends last year. Mm -hmm. One at, uh, I can't remember exactly, 24, 23. Mm -hmm. The other one at 28 or something mm -hmm. right there. And it's just like. They passed away? Yeah, one of my friends um, oh. passed for an accidental overdose. Oh, mm -hmm. man. And the other one passed away from child pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So it was just like. It, it really it come and go. Yeah. So Those just are two like, different things that a lot of people don't like to speak on, though. You know what I'm saying? How 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 serious is it? Like doing drugs and overdosing, or how serious is it? You know, being pregnant and trying to have a child. That's a very that's a very yeah. serious matter. And you know just saying like this is like not even in your thirty yet. It's mm -hmm. just that really woke me up. I mean, I was already woke up. Yeah. Like time is serious, but when I lost one friend and then another friend, I was like, oh. I'm gonna say I turned 26 on Monday, well, yeah, wow. January 20th, so it's like, it's just time to just, hey man, it's okay to say no, like, my time is for real, bro, like, I don't yeah. really care anymore, like, yeah. you know, if you're not gonna come, then I'm pretty sure the next opportunity will come, like, we, live yeah. in a, we, we, we live in a world where it's like, opportunity will come, you just gotta yeah. be consistent. Consistency. And yeah, I, yeah, you, you, you right about that, man, you right about that, and I feel like, the way you come, the way you ended 2019, the way you're going into 2020, I mean, like I said, man, like, sky isn't the limit. Like, you set your own fucking limit. You just keep going. You feel me? So, Cloud, man, we, I'm, like, I, this conversation was more personal. This conversation was, yeah. like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was, you know, we've been knowing each other for a little bit now, man. It's always awesome. 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 You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Always cool yeah. to, to, to see what you do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? See what you have done and always get to talk about it, man. So I know you remember what we always do at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We I mean, need that free game message. We need that free uh, game message. Are you know, last year, I remember I said about art. Yeah. Art for the, uh, I said it's still one of my favorite quotes. Mm -hmm. No, I just, I just think consistency. That word, yeah. constant work as yourself is mm -hmm. a big, it's a big word I'm looking, I'm into this year. Mm -hmm. Consistency, mm -hmm. being consistent, just yeah. always working. Mm -hmm. Just don't think about the, it's just going to work out, it's not going to work out. Just keep. Building that one. Build, yeah, keep building it because you never know which one's gonna be the one. Yeah, That's very true. Consistency is a big word I'm on this year. Yeah, we yeah we've been on that shit. We've yeah, and then uh, it's just like yeah, I mean just, I mean just take it takes money to make money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to spend very that time. True. Yeah. And I'm not telling everybody don't break your pockets. Yeah. It's just about if you love what you do, just keep driving. Yeah. Forward, bro. Invest I mean, in yourself. And invest. Invest in yourself, but invest smartly. Sometimes stuff sounds good, but if you feeling like it's, it's too good to be true to invest, yeah, it just don't. Cause like I said, opportunity gonna come mm -hmm. eventually. If you being consistent, the opportunity always gonna come. Mm -hmm. It may not come next week, but I'm pretty sure two months later, it'll be there. It's something's gonna come. Yeah. Okay, as long as you be consistent, people seeing you doing what you do. So, All it. right, bet man. Look. More life. More blessings, more success. It's Free Game Radio Podcast. Your boy, Poppy Dime. And it's your girl, TSG. I got Cloud in here, man. Shout good out. brother, the good friend. 
freaking, yeah. you know, you always Rock welcome to come. Man, family. Anytime, you feel me? So we got the new drink. Check it out. Tequila. Island Breeze. Yeah, tequila. It's you got the blue lemonade. Uh -huh. You got the peach mix. You got the Sprite island yeah. mix. I mean, all How y'all feeling, by the way? Uh, how y'all feeling? I'm, I'm waiting. Bad Boys are going to be. Bad Boys is going to be a good movie. It's going to be a good movie? Yeah. <laughs> And again, man, for, for all the uh, YouTubers out there, make yeah. sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell, get the notifications. Yeah. We on Spotify, we on Apple yeah. Podcasts, we're on iHeart, we're on Deezer, we're on everywhere. You feel everywhere. me? So, free Game Radio free Podcast. Game Radio Podcast. Hit us up, man. Follow us on IG, all that good shit. And we do got merch coming merch within on the, the way. next couple weeks. Probably two weeks or so. So look make sure y'all follow Cloud Two on all platforms. Yeah. Cloud, let them know where they can where they can find it's, you at. As of now, it's just at Cloud X Cruiser C A L O U D X C R U I S E R. Mm -hmm. That shows them not too drunk. Yeah. To spell. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it right now. And um, oh, for, I procrastinate heavy, but I promise it's gonna be a website. Mm -hmm. Hopefully before the summer. Yeah. And just to have more of my information now and everything. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like to DM. Yeah. Or some people do DM and I just be mad flooded with DMs and yeah. pop back. So I'm making a website. Well it's a website I already made, mm -hmm. but when that comes out I will. But as of now just officially Instagram, no Twitter, no Facebook, no Snapchat. No All that other shit. Just Instagram. Yeah man. So we out of here man. You know, so we good man. Free game radio podcast. Yeah. The drinks got me, yo. I ain't gonna lie. It did too. Yeah. Yeah. So, you got me, man. So, we out of here, man. More life, more Sorry, blessings, more success. Catch you next time, people. Let's get it. Peace. Yeah. I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. No one can stop me. I'm the best ever. You are watching a master at work.